I just get this one up again. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, ah, I do that every time. Stop it. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Manos, the Hands of Fate. I'm player tested. This game was released in July, and I saw it on Steam. I remember watching the movie back when I was in high school, and I was like, oh, my gosh, I cannot believe they made this game. Uh, the movie was bad, and... It just, I wanted to play this. It looked hilarious, and I figured I might as well try to jump into it and see what I can do, because this is going to be fun. <laughs> We're going to play it on normal. Mike, I'm scared. It's getting dark. <laughs> We're lost, honey. We better try Valley Lodge just for tonight. Oh, my gosh. Stage one. I have three. <laughs> Mike, it's getting dark. I'm scared. Please find the Valley Lodge. Okay. Okay, there's my jump. And I got my gun. <laughs> and the little girl and the dog and then my wife. All right. And there we go. Watch out for... <laughs> I'm sorry. That's great. So that's a reference from Mystery Science Theater. I don't know what I just shot. Um, oh, more gold. Okay. Okay. Uh, so yeah, watch out for snakes is a is a shout out to Mystery Science Theater. Um, there was a episode that they watched a movie call, called uh, Ega. I remember. Oh no, he died. <laughs> Darn it. Okay. Anyway, they watched a movie called Ega, and there was a part where they're walking off of the the actors are walking off of the uh, out of screen. And, uh, you just hear one random voice, watch out for snakes. <laughs> and you go, who, who said that? What, where did that come from? And so, uh, in the, when they did the mystery science theater of it and they watched, uh, Manos, the Hands of Fate, during one of the scenes, they basically had a part where he, <laughs> just somebody randomly goes, says, watch out for snakes. <laughs> or one of them say, watch out for snakes. Stop! No! Stop! No! No kissing! <laughs> I love it. I'm gonna die. I am going to die. Okay, so those cannot be killed. Tumbleweeds or whatever they may be. Can I jump up there? No. I can't jump up the high. Look out for snakes. Watch out for snakes. I'm gonna grab those. Maybe there'll be some health up here. Hand of fate found! Max health increased! <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, this look this is so far. This is great. I have a, I mean I remember. So they did Oh gosh, I don't know how long ago they did. I mean it it's been years since I watched Man of Sands of Fate and Mystery Science Hero. Oh my gosh, Torgo! <laughs> I love it! I yeah, that's the music. Listen to this. This is great. I love this music. <laughs> Torgo, you cannot stay here. The master would not approve. <laughs> I love it. Because he has that shaky voice. Oh my gosh, I have to kill Torgo? Or I have to attack him? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> so essentially, very well. The master will be very disturbed. So, <laughs> Torgo. Torgo always had that shaky voice, so that's great that they got the letters to shake with them. <laughs> oh, that's great. There's no way out of here. It will be dark soon. Yeah. That's, that's typical. Why? Okay, so there are several other kids. Love it. Love it. There's a top servo right there. That is awesome. <laughs> Tom servo sitting right in the living room next to the vending machine. I wonder if I'll spot a crow. That'd be great. Oh no! Ah, slimes. I can't shoot the slimes. I gotta jump over the slimes. Can't. Okay. All right, got my shotgun. All right. Probably only have limited bullets or limited time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I 
really cheesy sound effects too. I love it. This is great. This is, oh my gosh. That's the question of will it? I mean, ah, shoot. Okay. Okay. Oh, I ran out of shotgun bullets. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm just giddy as can be. This is, this is hilarious. This is great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, I remember... I mean, I remember watching this film and, you know... The... The, the acting was bad. The... The editing was... Was... Atrocious. I mean, it was... It was just all around. It was just a bad film, but... It was... It was... A funny, it was a hilariously bad film. I mean, just ridiculous of, of everything. So I apparently, and a fate found, max health increased. Um, so from what I understand, the guy who wrote, starred, and directed in the film used to be, or basically when he did the film, was a uh, a manure salesman, and decided, you know what? I'm gonna write a I'm gonna write a film script, and I'm gonna star in it, and I'm gonna direct it, and I'm gonna fund it, and <laughs> that's what he did. And it's just, oh man, it was. Uh, if you have not seen it, I mean, you could try watching the original. It's not the greatest thing in the world be probably better for you to, to watch the mystery science theater version of it so that way you can at least get through it but <laughs> if you, you, you'll watch it and it you'll just I mean if you watch the mystery science theater version of it it's absolutely hilarious ah oh, the master oh, I got attacked I got hurt by the the dog <laughs> what is up with the dog looks like it's talking out of Thoros mouth I don't, I don't know what these guys are saying. Oh, wait, oh, wait. What am I gonna do here? Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. I have to... Okay. <laughs> this is great. I love it. It's the statue in the master's house. I don't know who this... this what the statue's made of, but it's... Oh, my gosh. Ah. Ah. Can I jump up onto that? Nope, I can't. Okay. So, uh, alright. We're just gonna keep firing away. Keep firing away. Ah! Stupid hand. Ah! Oh, secret. Oh! <laughs> the master has left this world, but he will be, is with us always. Not dead the way you know it. The master is with us always. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm just, I mean, every time he talks, I'm just thinking of, of, you know, uh, I can hear his voice and I can hear the theme playing in my theme, in my head, you know, oh, it's just, <laughs> oh, this is great, I love it, I love every bit of it, all right, I'll just get this one up again, haha, <laughs> all right. No! Ah! I do that every time! Stop it! Ah! Cannot believe I did that again. Alright, well, at least I'm not losing lives, because there's a one-up right there every time I die. Okay, there we go. Hey, look, it's... <laughs> it's, a, it's a mini hand of fate. <laughs> this is what that is. <laughs> oh, no! I fell... <laughs> died! Alright. The scream for the the skull is great. Oh no! Gotta be careful now. Ah! Take that weird eye thing. Okay, I'll let you know. None of these eyes or monsters or anything were in the movie. I mean, you, I mean, they might have been, but they. I mean, in the in the version I saw, they weren't in there. Okay, we're gonna jump. Jump! Oh no! No, no! Ah! I'm gonna die! I want the hand of fate. Yeah! Sweet! Increased max health! 
Woohoo! Okay. Jump, Michael! Ow! Michael, you suck! <laughs> there we go. He really was. It's just like... I, <laughs> I don't know, that kind of antagonist was just... Or, not pro antagonist, protagonist. It was... He... <laughs> I don't know that... Yeah. It was... It was... It was a bad film. It was funny, but it was a bad film. <laughs> like, I don't know... I don't know if I would've... If, if it would've come out... Like... Around... Time... I don't know if I would've ever gone to see it. Like, in theaters. I mean, like... Granted... You know, so they did they did the mystery science theater of it, and then um, I want to say it was a couple of years ago, actually. Uh, they did a so the guys from mystery science theater, uh, half of them do a have a group called Cinematic Titanic where they watch. Oh my gosh, this was definitely not in the film. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, they do a group called Cinematic Titanic, where they still make fun of B-films, and they do it live on stage and everything like that. And then the other group, uh, Mike Nelson and all them, uh, do a group called Riff Tracks and everything. Great, great group. They, they make fun of modern films, and they still make fun of B-films and everything. Um, but, oh no, <laughs> this vulture thing. <laughs> Um, they still make fun of, of modern films and they make fun of B films. Well, recently they did, uh, they redid Manos, The Hands of Fate, uh, making fun of it and everything like that. And, uh, it was, oh, it was so good. I actually went and saw it in theaters because they did a live, they did a live riffing of it and everything like that. And so I got to, I went with my wife and we went and watched. <laughs> <laughs> the re-riffing of Manos the Hands of Fate, which was Oh no! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's get this right this time. How about that? Okay. I've got his pattern his patterns down now, so now, but No, it was a good film, and I remember there was one part of the film where Torgo the, the guy with the weird calves is, is laying on the ground and there's a scene where he's having to stand up and it takes roughly about uh, gosh I want to I don't think it was 13 minutes but I want to say it was it was close to like almost like two minutes to get up the master wants you he loves beautiful women but he cannot have you I want you <laughs> Creepy. That was a creepy scene. That was a super creepy scene. Don't ever try that again. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a horrible night to have a missing wife and daughter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's gonna make me scroll. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is a forced scroll now. Okay. There's a bat. There's a bat. Or a butterfly or whatever that may be. I got night vision on here apparently. This is, <laughs> this is so far. This is so freaking hilarious. So good. I love that they gave Michael a gun because that's what he had in the movie too. It was great. I remember specifically there was one scene that I thought was absolutely hilarious when I caught it. This is a scene where he's out. Ah! Keep running backwards to try to keep myself on top of those things. That's just instinct from when I was a kid. Just jumping up and then backing up, trying to stay on it or whatever. Um, anyway, what was it talking about? Oh, the scene with the with the gun. Um, there was a scene where basically Michael is going and looking for, I think, his daughter, and he goes and finds her outside. What the heck is that? Those? Those like gremlins. Oh, ow! I can't move when I get. Okay, what's only when I when I shoot? Um, he's looking for his daughter, and he goes out to try to find her, and he ends up finding her or whatever like that, and she finds this demon dog type deal, and uh, I love the scene. He shoots at the dog, and the dog goes away or whatever like that, 
Uh, but what was great was the scene edited. He He's standing there. They're all in basically like first position or whatever. And it's like somebody forgot to say action or something. And he's just standing there. And then all of a sudden it's like, and go. You know. <laughs> and then he puts the gun in his pocket. It's like, oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, hopefully I can grab that hand of fate. Okay, um, oh or not. Oh, okay. These, whatever these things are, they're gremlins or what? But they're annoying as all get out. Oh my gosh. Stop it! Get away from me. Give me the shotgun. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. That'll get rid of whatever those things are. In a hurry. Uh, stupid drinking teenagers. Ah, oh, that was the, that was another thing in the film was the drunken teenagers drinking and and making out, and the cops are more concerned about them than whatever else is going on in this forest. And so this is like okay, okay, got through that. Oh gosh, this this is this is hilarious. I love Ah I love every bit of it. Sometimes it's annoying. Alright. I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time, keep playing games and we'll see you then. the other thing that mm, that's the one thing that really I keep forgetting with this game too is like